What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. And don't forget to stop by CMP Kits, CMPKits.com. Get yourself a copy of Drill MIDI, get yourself a copy of Drill Loops, and be on your way to making better drill music. Don't forget to go to Spotify, and please follow the Spicy Sundays podcast for the spiciest producer takes of all time. Now, today we're going to be going into something that is super dope. We're going to be looking at um, the MPC software, MPC one software, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get access to the infamous, uh, the legendary MPC swing um, so that you can take advantage of it in your uh, your productions. Now, what I have here is I've got a I've got a um, a little like a little drillish pattern that I started up. And, you know, congratulations to you guys that have got a hold of the MPC software or the MPC, um, the uh, MPC beats software and are able to, you know, are able to jump in this world and experience like the better sound, the better swing, just the overall better programming of this. Like if you guys have a DAW and you're not using the MPC software, even if it's the free one to program your drums, you're playing with yourself. Now, what I'm now what I'm looking at here is it's just a little pattern. Um, and I want to show you guys a couple things. So first is I've had this, I, you know, I click these in, I'm on one sixteen note. If you don't have a, a controller, you know, figuring out how to change the, the note values and the swing and everything could be a little confusing. So, um, inside, inside of the MPC for as long as quantize has been a thing, you, it, it, the, uh, the name of that function is not quantize it's called time correct so when you see tc that's what that is now you could turn this on you could turn this off um in order to change the uh grid resolution what you want to do is you want to click right here on this number and you'll be able to change you know from your uh you know your your quarter note eight notes 16 notes 32 um if you're used to fl studio then you guys have that stupid you know three step two step uh shit that they do that no other software does so it's hard to do drums in any other software and i apologize for that but what i want to do here is i want to is i want to put like some 32 note rolls on 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 a couple of these hi-hats so the way to go about it you know to roll your hi-hats and stuff is i'll just you know i'll just go in here and now that i have the 32 note roll i'm going to and this is similar to what i would do in ableton live then i'll click on it press Control d and then boom now i now i got a roll right so and then i can go ahead and adjust the velocity one of the best parts of the mpc software is the way that it handles velocity like just I don't know what it is. It it should it should be as simple as turning the volume up and down, but it just it sounds it it has a better vibe out of here. All right, so I hear another place I want to put a roll, and I'm gonna go ahead and just do that real quick. Right here. And the good thing about it is, is no matter what the grid resolution is, is, is it has a, it has a really good snap when you're use when you're using the mouse. So you don't have to be like a hundred percent zoomed in, you know, on top of it, you know, you know, got your laptop all in your face in order to be able to work with it. All right, cool. So I got, so I got a nice little pattern here. Now say like, I thought like, man, this would, you know, this would sound, this would sound a lot better if, um, if like, you know, I could do like the foreign tech trick where I want to, I want to take these hi hats and push them, you know, and push them right into the beat, uh, you know, have them be offset. So if you want to go and do that though, you know, instead of highlighting them and dragging them over, there is, you know, there's the, there's a way that is, you know, the MPC way to do this. And what you want to do is you want to make friends with this menu up here, these three little lines, 
and take this edit box seriously, right? So the way you want to think about it is when you're using the NPC software, if you want to edit something, come to the edit menu first, right? And you could just you could just select this uh, nudge event right by time correction, which is it's going to do it by whatever value you set up here. So you don't want to use that. But what you want to do is you want to go to time correct and you want to go to settings. OK. Now, settings, what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to, you know, shift the timing of your stuff. You're going to be able to you're going to be able to change the swing. You're going to be able to, uh, you know, use it. Um, you know, the different types and you're going to be able to select the type of events, right? So what you want to do when you're using this, the easiest way to do it is if you want to, you know, apply it to a track, which is, which is how, which is how I use it, like for trap and drill and shit like that. When, when I'm applying it to a track, what you want to do is you want to select the track, make sure it's highlighted, go to file, edit, time, correct settings. And what I want to do here is I want to shift the timing. I want to make these hi hats just a little later, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just click and drag this up one. Now pay attention here. You'll notice, you see how you see how all those moved that way in the beat. Now we have this. Now for my snares, I like to you know I like to I, I like to pull those a little early, right? So. Um, I'm going to go back in here to edit I'm gonna go time correct. I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to shift the timing. Negative one, right? And that's, you know, watch these squares right here. Boom, it'll shift them. It'll shift them earlier in the beat. Now, listen. Ah. All right, we're good. We're off the grid now for the kicks. Um, I have uh, I have something that I like for double time settings. I will go to edit and I will go to time correct. We'll go to settings. These now this is important. My kicks, you know, when I when I input them, I'm, I'm inputting them on eighth notes. So you want to make sure that you use the correct time division in which you, you know, which you, uh, you know, either click or played your uh, your notes in. I want to set this. I don't want to shift these over any. I just want them. I just want to swing them right so that's that and i'm gonna set the swing to like like 51 or 52 just little subtle changes and i add this guy in here now Now, we'll go back to it one more time when you click in new notes to make sure that you get it. Time correct, settings. You see how my off notes switch? Beautiful. And just those, just those little just those little changes and, you know, inconsistencies in the timing, in the timing of your drums. Um, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to give your sound just, just such a better feel. Like you see, uh, you know, we're, you know, we're off the grid, nothing, you know, nothing is stagnant and it does it in the, you know, in that typical, you know, beautiful, just so pleasing to listen to MPC fashion. And now that you guys have the MPC beat software anybody can do this so you don't have to pretend like it doesn't exist you don't have to pretend like mpc timing isn't a big deal everybody can use it for free uh go out and get it try it out this is cmp with craft master production studio one tutorials.com you guys keep it simple but do not be basic and we will see you on the next one fam <laughs>